I wanted to take a second to talk about our new sponsor and that's Luna Finance. Our new sponsor is an asset and finance company that's making a real difference across Australia. Imagine you're a parent finally looking to get a new car or maybe you're on the cusp of launching a new business. Luna Finance can make that happen for you. From cars suited to the everyday family or if you're a bloke like myself and you need a big truck to drive, <laughs> Luna Finance has got you covered. What truly sets Luna Finance apart is how easy they make the process. No need to adjust your schedule. Their 24-7 online applications at lunafinance.com.au is a game changer. And if you're not into filling out online forms, any of that kind of stuff, no worries, just submit your details online and their dedicated team will get in touch with you. They're all about making finance accessible, no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Turn your aspirations into achievements with just a click. Apply at lunafinance.com.au today and discover the Lunar Finance difference. Season C's apply subject to credit specifications. Get over to Instagram and find them at lunarfinance.com.au and tell them Crossy sent you. And thanks to Luna for sponsoring this episode. Welcome back to the Cross Family Podcast, a podcast about everything but absolutely nothing at the same time. Yes. But most of it is just me and my wife thinking we're more entertaining than we actually are. And you guys believing it. Um, we're the Cross Family Podcast. Good work. Was that a good intro? Yeah. Yeah? I've, I've, I want to make it more uniform, but can I, can I just talk about something real quick? What? So we've got two camera angles. Oh. One's in front of us there, and my wife hasn't found the second one yet. <laughs> Not at the minute. She's still looking for it. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it, babe? It's on the fucking roof. <laughs> what well, I that? thought like I thought what's the point in just putting another camera angle right here I'm just going to put it up there so for no reason whatsoever because that's not important that camera angle it's so random Jacques. Yeah, no. do you know what's funny about that is that I didn't curl the back of my hair because I was like no, no one's going to see this it can't see behind you you only curled the front of your hair yeah, geez that's a bit half pie <gasps> Oh, don't say anyway. that. So anyway, we're on a new channel. We're on the Cross Family channel. Not, channel. Not Cross Family Trucking anymore. We are trying to reach a new audience for this family channel. Yes. Because there's no point in me, big old dumb truck driver, having, hogging all the content. We might as well spread it out. Yeah. Mm. And look, we're not really specifically aiming for 60-year-old white men. Yeah. So if that is you. Yeah, I know, right? Click off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And this we just want to like aim for people that are like us, yeah. I guess, yeah. But in this episode, we're going to get into a bit of a weekly chat and then a not going to lie. Yeah. Claire comes up with... So we don't actually like... We don't properly sit down and think what's going to be the most creative content that we can come up with for this. Yeah. We just sit down like an hour before we actually do this and go, what's a good topic? And well, Claire always comes up with them. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we do spend like... Like time during the week chatting about what we want to do, we just but then haven't, haven't a baby been starts crying lately. and then you can't. It's been a bit yeah. difficult lately, but yeah, to chat <laughs> during yeah. the week hasn't it? But um, yeah, it's something that I've seen before mm. on like people just doing it on their Instagram stories. But I thought that it would be cool to do like an anonymous Q and A yeah. and assumptions. Yeah. So like people make assumptions about you or ask a question and then we respond on our podcast. Europe. Yeah. So how was your week, babe? Week was good. I had my first um, photo shoot this week for oh, my modelling gig. Yeah, sorry. I completely forgot that you <laughs> signed a modelling contract and then you had your first photo shoot. So I f- signed my modelling contract and made everything official like last week. So yep. we talked about it a little bit on the last podcast yep. that hasn't really gone out yet. The one yeah, that actually, we did no, in the car. Haven't. Yeah. Yeah. And then so um, the first thing that I had to do was do something called a testing photo shoot mm. and they just like um, – it's used for like model call cards and like your website and stuff like that. This will mean more to women because I have no idea what you're talking about. So like um, if you go to like a casting or it's something that you can have yeah. on a business card, mm. like photos like that. So – Yeah. And then I have a space on a website on yeah. my agent and my manager's website. Yeah. And then they'll have my details and those photos. Okay. It's just basically to say to clients, like, Claire is available. She's ready to be this booked. And this is her. This These is are her good measurements. Photos. These are her photos, yeah. This yeah. is, like, so how, an example of what she can do. So, before 
because this is a new channel we might have new people watching oh yeah so for people that don't know us mm-hmm. and have no reference to us yeah. claire started um working in the plus size like fashion yeah like social media space what yeah. Eight years ago. When we met, eh? Yeah. Which was eight years ago. Eight or nine. Well, nine it's year. coming up to ten years next year. Was it really? Yeah. 2015 we met. Damn. It oh, is yeah. too. Yeah. Cause you'll be 29. So we used to like... And she built an Instagram following, Facebook following, stuff yeah. like that. And we, then she took a break from it. Life yeah. happened. Life and happened. And now she's come back around to it. Yes. But you know what's interesting is I always thought that when I would come back into like Instagram and fashion blogging, <clears throat> not that I'll be blogging, but I'll be doing more Instagram stuff and, you know, outfit things and stuff. Um, I always thought that I'd probably come back with a bang. I know that sounds really probably like full of myself, but yeah, I get it what sort you're of saying. has just happened yeah, like that. It like, just, yeah, thanks to your friend down in wherever she lives. Victoria, yeah. yeah. My friend Amber is a model scout and an agent. And so she's what they called my mother agent. Yeah. And then I've also got um, a manager. So and where's she, that one from? She's on the Gold Coast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I've got an agent and a manager now. Yeah. And I've got uh, my first um, collaboration coming up next, well, soon. Yeah. With a company. Yeah. Sending me some stuff. What is it? Bras. Are they, are they hot? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say they're sexy, but are they hot? Uh, or are they like granny bras? No, I think they're like kind of in between. They perk you up or just hold on to them? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You're a dickhead. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, so, um, yeah. I, yeah. Nothing? What do you mean? Like, what kind of bra? No, no, no. Like, oh. What else about your whole yeah, shit well, that's going um, on? Yeah, well, so the shoot happened on Monday and then yeah. Tony sent the photo. Tony was the photographer. He sent the photos, like, the day after or the day, day or so after. And, yeah, they were really, really yeah, good. Yeah, they're really good. Can I we insert a couple? Ex- yeah, of course. I'll insert a couple here and here. <laughs> um and yeah i just um personally i didn't expect it to go that well because of the way i like, think yeah our digital like our digis that we did here in the house oh yeah and they were i felt a bit shit about those photos did you really yeah i did i didn't really like them very much yeah. um it turns out it was just what us like yeah, I, I know. didn't know how to pose for the photo- photographer, and the photographer didn't know how to take a picture. Here, yeah, yeah, exactly. You and me, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. And so, like, but have you ever had professional photos done like that? Um, not like one on one. It's always been like a group thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah like okay. I've been in like photo shoots before. Yeah, for brands, but mm. yeah, not for a while, like over five years. Oh, good, babe. Yeah. Yeah. So, We'll see what happens. Yeah. I've awesome. got another photo shoot in a couple of weeks. Do you really? Yeah. Are we paying for that one too? No. Was that last one <laughs> sent <Please>. us broke? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. It drained our savings. Yeah. Well, no, it didn't. But well, you can't drain a savings account that has nothing in it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's sort of, um, you got to look at it as like starting a business. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. And like, I literally said that to you last weekend. Yeah. I told you I'm not mad at you for... I gave Claire, <laughs> I got a YouTube paycheck last week. Yeah. It was like 800 bucks or something. Yeah. I gave Claire like 750 bucks and I said, all I need out of this money is a webcam so I can start streaming. You should have just bought it first. And then I go to look at the webcam when Claire finished shopping and there's like, oh, at the bank account when Claire finishes shopping, there's like 50 bucks left. And I was like, look, I'm not mad at you. No. I did want a webcam, but. Our money needs to support what you're doing as well, not just me. Thank you. That yeah. is, yeah, important to me yeah. that you. But I almost had a go. <laughs> I mean, I understand. I was pretty sulking. Well. Yeah. Yeah, and then you put yourself KFC. Because I was sulking. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, I know. I, I fixed you my. Ate your emotions. Fi- yeah, literally. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. That's funny. Well, that's exciting, babe. Yeah. I, I feel, feel like we talk fun. about this every episode, but it, it's it's progressing. It's like progressing, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, what about your week? I had an average week. Oh, no, we... Yeah, I had um, 
So you had an interview. Yeah. So in case anyone new is watching, right? In case, because because we have we uploaded to the yeah. everyday live show before this. Yeah. But in case anyone new is watching, because they've found our channel randomly. Yeah. Um, my did I introduce us <laughs> at the start? No. My name's Jacques Cross. This is Claire Cross. We're husband and wife, and. This all started because I have a YouTube channel. Well, not her modeling thing. I didn't start that. But yeah. this whole s- content thing that we're doing started because I have a YouTube channel called Cross Family Trucking. Yeah. Um, truck driver, you know. There's other like previous podcasting yeah, episodes whatever, on, on his that. channel. So we'll that go over there if well. you're new yeah. and um, whatever. What was I getting at? So you had... I I put out to my followers, because I got a bit of a following, that I want to start an interview series with truck drivers on the east coast of Australia. Yeah. And randomly, in, I do um, long distance, and I was in Sydney. Yeah. And randomly, I woke up to a message from uh, a fellow countryman. <laughs> <laughs> we we just a happened Kiwi. to... Yeah, a yeah. Maori. And um, he said, man, I'm keen to do an interview. And I said, well... Yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. And he said, well, I'm in Wetherill Park, which is a suburb in Sydney. And I said, I'm in Wetherill Park, suburb of Sydney. He goes, I don't have to leave Sydney for a bit. And I said, I don't have to leave Sydney for a bit. Should we get this done now? Yeah. Ten minutes later, I was in an Uber on the way to his truck. Cool. And he was parked on the side road. And we had done the first interview for that. That is so cool. And I'm calling it the Everyday Trucky. Nice. Yeah. I like that. Yep. Um, I just interviewed him. It was, it was actually pretty good. And... Um, we just talked about life. Yeah. We were we kind of had to rush it because by the time I got there, he had to leave in like forty five minutes. Oh yeah. But um, I think, I think all of them will be like that. Yeah. Oh, I I, I think what I'm going to end up doing. Yeah. Is getting a map and going, interview date here, date there, date there, date there, date there, mm-hmm. and I'm just going to zip around the country. Not oh. around the whole country, but zip around New South Wales and Queensland. Yeah. And um, on like a week. Oh. Like take a week off work and go oh, and yeah. do it. I'll let I'll let everyone on this channel know and on my channel know when it's ready. Yeah. Hmm. But episode one is done and dusted. I just need to edit it. But we're getting into a topic called Not Gonna Lie. Yeah. Can you explain w- what it is that we're doing to me, babe? Okay. To me, because I I don't <laughs> not to anyone else to me because I don't know what's did happening. Did you post it on your inst- on your Facebook? Yeah, I did actually. Okay, cool. So basically, what it is is an anonymous link you can click on and then post questions or assumptions or just a message. Mm-hmm. And I get it on this like dashboard. Okay. Yep. I've only opened two and I've left the rest of them as a surprise. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the first one, the assumption is Claire is most kinky in the bedroom. Nah. No. Nah, so I'm do not. we have to talk about this? I'm a pi- pillow princess. Well, we're not really kinky people, are we? No, not really, but I, th- I feel like I'll I will get into it though. <laughs> <laughs> you do <laughs> Oh I do No we both get into it obviously yeah. But yeah When we find the time And the kids aren't crying Or waking yeah, up Yeah we usually just chuck on fruit sensory And <laughs> go have a, a it's, kind of <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of also a bit hard Like to find time to be intimate with each other mm. Because like by the end of the day We're both like Naked. And the end of the week Knackered. Yep. Like, if we had to put the kids to sleep and then clean the house and then go to bed, yeah. have a shower, go yep. to bed, and then be intimate with each other, nah, yeah, nah, nah. Just, ain't it. just ain't it. Yeah. So it's like the kids are asleep or they're busy having like a play yep. or something to eat, and I'm just like, hey. Yeah, I know, right? Or I'm like, get your ass in the bedroom. <laughs> That's what he does. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, that that was pretty a pretty straightforward answer. Yeah, but thanks for asking that question. Well, okay. thanks for making an assumption about that. The next question, it is a question, not a statement. So it is, how did you both? Well, this is obviously coming from what <laughs> from your family because they've said use. Yeah. <laughs> how did yous both cope with change when your first born 
first was born. Okay. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I, we actually didn't cope. No, um, we had a major breakdown in a relationship. Yep. It almost ended our relationship. Yeah. but yeah. But we got back on track eventually. Yeah, um, and I also started. I went into long, di- long line haul. Yeah, driving. Maybe so about a year in. Mm, yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, Huey was about a year old. Yeah, and then yeah, it was. I was yeah, just before he was one, I started. Yeah, and um. That coupled yeah. with you learning how to be a mum and stressing out yeah. about new mum shit, like yeah. breastfeeding, yeah. like doctor's check appointments and stuff like yeah. that, that all resulted in us having a big blue on the side of the road. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was a really bad fight. Yeah. And, um, yeah, just so we just weren't communicating. Uh, yeah. yeah, we were struggling to communicate. And not we meeting each other. We being a support for a lot of people in our lives. Yeah. And like putting ourselves last. Like, yeah. 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 Um, but we, and we weren't being like, we both needed emotional support. So we weren't, so we yeah. then weren't being emotional supports for each other. Yeah. It's like that um, saying where you, to be supportive pillars, you've mm. actually got to support each other. I mean, support yeah. yourself first yeah, yeah, yeah. before you can support each other. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, we ended up in counselling. That helped us a lot. Yeah. The one thing we always, like, the one thing that we took from that and applied to our relationship was... Grace. Giving each other grace. Grace, yeah. Just like, uh, Claire's in a shit mood. I don't need to fight back with her. You know yeah. what I mean? Or like the other way around. Yeah, literally, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, is this uh, really worth it? Or yeah, can exactly. I laugh it off? And yeah. Or just drop it. Or just drop it. We, I, I see us do that a lot now is drop yeah. shit. Oh, literally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that has also come with a bit of emotional maturity. Like really? we have two kids now. We've been together for f- nearly five years. Well, married for five years. Like been this together. This is our fifth year being married. Yeah. Fuck off. Mm. Yeah. God damn. God damn. <laughs> we got married in 2019. It's 2024. Oh my God, it is too. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We can write off the first two years because it's COVID. Oh. <laughs> but except we had a baby. Yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. yeah, and then Olive was the Olive Branch. That yeah, she literally was. She, she, I don't think she saved our relationship, but I think she helped fix the whole thing. Yeah. All at once. Yeah. Because I think... Like for we were going through all that, but at the same time, you really wanted to be pregnant. Yeah, I, I did. remember that. And I had a mis- I had a miscarriage, an early miscarriage. As yeah, well. that's right. Yeah, so all it was of very that. early, but like, yeah. I still had a positive pregnancy test, and then yeah. within a week had a negative pregnancy result. Yep. So anyway, that was a bit sad. And then, but at the same time, we were then like <laughs> going like hating each other's guts, <laughs> yeah. but trying to make a baby. But yeah. when we made that baby, yeah. everything just like come right. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah. And I think that like because we were in this like really rough cycle, like mm. I wanted to feel more emotional, like intimacy and physical intimacy yeah. with you. You couldn't get over the fact that I was also being really difficult because I had PPD. What's and that? Postpartum depression oh, okay. and anxiety, you know, like. Yeah, how yeah, I was yeah. mentally. Yeah. And then I got on my medicine and you could see the change in me, but you were still like, you know, couldn't get past some of well, those barriers. Yeah. What do you mean barriers? I just feel like maybe there was like some things that you were like, oh, you know, how you, how we were. Mm. Yeah. Well, what? What do you, what? I don't know. Like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. I feel like once we started having sex again. What? It sorted us out? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Because we both got well, some, what we needed from each other. Thank you, Jesus, for anti antidepressants. <laughs> yes. They help clear through her week. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. Uh, I think if you ever told me that you wanted to get off those, I would say nah. <laughs> it's funny because when I went on them, you were like, this is dumb. No, I hated them because I, I just used to hate them because yeah. they used to dumb you down. But for some reason, you, are you on like a different one or something? No. Same one. But you're yeah. not as like, because you used to be really like. Hmm. Yeah, I was grieving my mum. That's what it probably was. Yeah. yeah okay. 
Anyway. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do think that if you're having problems with your mental health, definitely go see a doctor. Well, that... It helped us. Yep. Yep. Well, okay. that's a random place to end that question. <laughs> it's so <laughs> random. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Okay, the next question is... PM the page this also, but would love to know how you guys work everything, being a small family and having a partner work away and so on. Mm. Great. Thank you so much and for your question. I actually know who that is because he messaged me. Oh, really? Yeah. Is and he working away? I don't know. Oh. I have no idea. But brother, antidepressants. <laughs> 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 like I said in the last one, antidepressants. No, I'm joking. That's funny. It's communication. Oh, that's what I tell everybody. Yeah. Mm. I do think that also I've heard of this recent um, like concept of like the 50-50 split of mm. like, you know, work workload or whatever. Yeah. Uh, in our relationship, it can never be a 50-50 split. No. So we've got to just. You're doing 100% the home. Yeah. And I'm doing 100% work. Yeah. Well, you're working as well, but. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, on the weekend, you know, like things don't slow down. Yeah, exactly. If you looked around this house, you would see that. That camera can see it. Oh, no. Can it really? It can see the toys that are, like, just past the carpet (laughs) line. (laughs) Yeah. Listen, listen, bitch. <laughs> Don't you fucking tell anyone what's going on over there, okay? It can probably see way more than we Keep actually want it to. shit to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, things just... Things are never... If you've got a stay-at-home wife and you're away working or the other way around, things yeah. are never going to be, like... And, like, you've just got to understand set, that, like... Know? Say last weekend, Jacques had to like do a lot more than normal. Because yeah, you were running I around, getting running ready around for your, for your I got photo my shoot. Head out and got ready for the photo shoot and yep. stuff. And so he picked up probably eighty. Yeah, and then I was doing twenty. And that was all on forty-five minute sleeps from Thursday night. Yeah, going into but Friday. But also that weekend, I did all your washing. I yeah, did all exactly, your cooking, yeah. and I made sure that you were organised to yep. get out the door. That's right. So like, it's a give and a take. Yep. You know. Yep. Like you've really got to make sure that you're supporting each other and being open with each other. Yeah. It would give me so much anxiety that Jacques would not do his washing when he left, like, for work. Oh yeah. And but it's I, just like laziness. No, nah, if I don't do it, it's because I'm, I'm just preoccupied. I know. Yeah. So I've just started doing it because, mm. first of all, I know you will appreciate the fact that I've done it for you. Yeah. And um, I won't feel like shit that you're in like smelly clothes no, all but, week. No, but I don't – if I don't do my washing, I've got that whole Culture Kings bag full of clothes in the truck. I know. And they're all clean. I don't even touch that bag. That's for that. Ah. Uh. Yeah. That's emergencies only. Well, no, it's just clothes. So if I don't do my washing, I can literally, there's a clean bag of clothes in the truck. Yeah. Or okay. a, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, I mm. think that that's probably something. And your yeah. wife's just going to have to learn how to mow. Mow the lawns. Yeah, no, nah, it's just. And like pick up some of the other things, you know? Like. Yeah. Yeah. But also, like, if you. One thing that I, obviously I'm the one that works away. Um, one yeah. thing that I realised that I got lucky for is I have someone who's capable of raising our kids. Yeah. But if you work away, you have, like, you will know, like, and you care about the way your kids are being raised. Yeah. Um, like, I'm not saying, like, grill your wife. But just if if you don't, I don't I don't want to be, sound like an asshole. But if you don't think your wife is going to do a good job without you there, don't don't work away. Yeah. Because like if they're not capable of doing yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and maybe if they don't have enough support as well. That's that any anything yeah, like that. Not yeah. just like her competency, like any yeah. everything. Yeah. If you think that your wife is going to really struggle, yeah, being away, um, yeah. while you're away, then don't go, don't work away, yeah. or the other way around. Um, I got lucky. I really did. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and I really care about the way that our kids get raised. Yeah. And Claire just does a good job. That. Thanks. Yeah. She had good parents, so she is a good parent. That's nice. Yep. Cool. Thanks for your question. 
Yeah. When did you both meet and where? Thank oh. you. When did we both meet and where? We met outside uh, a nightclub in Brisbane in the yep. Valley. It hot was gossip. hot gossip. It was about four. Doof, doof, no, the sun doof. was up. Yeah, it was 5 a.m. We'd been kicked out of the clubs. We've actually talked about this in the yeah. first episode of the podcast, if you want to know that bad. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we went back to Claire's hotel room and necked on, but didn't have sex. Thanks for clarifying. And then then it was years of trial and error in our relationship. Oh. That's what, what, do you, what do you think I was going to say? I don't know. Yeah. Years of not having sex. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't want to. I was a bit of a scumbag. And I was having sex with women and not. I was only 19. But, like, I was having sex with the opposite sex. And <laughs> just to clear that up. <laughs> I was having, yeah, and not. And then, like, okay, done. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and I told Claire I don't want to have sex with you because I want. I don't. Because I'll. What, yeah. I, what did I say? Do you remember that conversation? Uh, you said something like, uh, I don't want to have sex with you yet because I want to get to know you. And if I... I won't talk to you ever again. Yeah, I won't talk to you ever again if we have sex now. And I was like... Oh, and now okay. we and now we just have kids that decide when we have to wake up in the morning. Quarter past five. Quarter past five. Five o'clock. Five o'clock in the morning. Yep. Yesterday was... Makes me want to neck it every time I come home. 4.30. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we met outside Hot Gossip in, my club. in 2015. Yep. I was 19 and Claire was 26. I was. She was very, very... Um, For those playing at home, I'm 35. Yeah. He's 27. Yep. She just turned 35 20. and I'm turning 28 yeah. in July. In July. So next year will be 10 years since we met. That's what? insane. That's insane. Isn't that bonkers? That's insane. Yeah. So that means Bailey's 28. Yeah. Bailey's 28. Yeah. Bailey dog, 28. <laughs> and Erin Aaron was 30, was 21, turning 21, so she'll be 31. Oh, crazy. Isn't that crazy? Bailey's fucking now, Bailey. Shit. Bonkers. Hey? I don't know why, buddy. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's been there long since I've, since I've seen the boys. Yeah. Okay. Next. Next one. How many have we got left? Um, Three. <laughs> <laughs> what? I feel like this is from Sarah. I know it probably isn't, but have you ever give, given each other a dud birthday or Christmas gift? Lol. <laughs> <laughs> that's I reckon that's your Sarah, sister. For sure. Yeah, we've yeah. talked about the blender. Wait, have I given you any other dud birthday gifts? I don't think so. Now I just cash her up. That's the easiest thing to do. I can't. I love it. Let me preface this. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of emphasis. There was no emphasis on gift giving in my childhood. Yeah. Like none. Christmas was just another day. Birthdays were just another day. We got gifts, but it was because we were children. And I think our parents <laughs> felt like they had to stopped. give us gifts. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, mum just went, oh, you know, you're old enough. You don't need Happy presents. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. But Claire, they, there, there's a huge emphasis on gift giving in your family. It's and a love language. And birthday ce- celebrations. Yeah. Like we all get together and yeah. Yeah. But have a birthday dinner so for I come us from or that. our kids, yeah. Yeah, and then you come from that. Yeah. And you are very good at gift giving, so it's hard to buy gifts for you. That's why I just send you money now. That's fine. Yep. I'm very okay with that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because then you can decide what to buy for yourself. Yeah. And it gives you an excuse to disappear from us for a while. Yeah. yeah. But one year, Jacques and I were exchanging just very small gifts uh, because we were planning our wedding and our engagement and stuff, so we were a bit broke. Yeah. Um, it was, maybe we had just had our wedding anyway, things were tight and, uh, Jacques gave me a portable blender, a USB rechargeable blender. Thanks very much. (laughs) It probably still works, but you just don't care about it. No, I don't. It's in the cupboard. (laughs) Yeah. It is pink. We've I'll talked give about it, it before. I don't want to make the Splendor a common theme. I just in our podcast. people haven't seen. But that's what I'm the asking. Other one. That's what I'm asking you. Is there other gifts that have been duds that I've given you? I don't think so. But that year, I gave you um, as a gift. My gift was um, Cards Against Humanity. Oh, is that where those come from? That yeah. Year? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. See, this is the annoying thing about Claire. Is she? Will listen to me say in January or February, oh fuck, I need a new bloody pair of running shoes, and then for and then for my birthday, I'll get a new pair of running shoes, and then after my birthday, she'll hear me say, oh I need a new 
fucking pair of undies or something, you know? Yeah. And then for Christmas, I'll get that. And I'll go, that's the annoying thing about you. Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a secret. Well. I have a notes app. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I've looked at it. Oh. Like a, a notes thing. Yeah. I think I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, yeah, mm. a, like note in my notes app. And I just like, if it's coming up to Christmas or something, I'll just like start a new one and start like writing oh, down funny. things that I yeah, want to so get Yeah, that's how people. much you care about gifts. Yeah, I care about what I get people, yeah. When it comes to like your birthday or like Christmas or something, about a month away from whatever one, right? Yeah. I'll go, I'll remember, oh, I need to buy Claire a gift. Two weeks away, I'll go, shit, I still haven't bought her a gift. And then like three days before your birthday, I'm like, oh, I actually have to go buy her a gift. Yeah. That's how I, I just, I'm just horrible with it. I'm sorry, but That's all right. Yeah. I do actually want you to make an effort for Valentine's Day though. It's not that fucking hard. It's just either <laughs> yeah. roses or chocolates. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you got 700 bucks, but that's all right. How many questions okay. we got left? We got two more left. You. Claire. Was you shamed out when you first hongy by the coddles or uncles? Give me, I'll read it. <laughs> Claire, were you were you embarrassed when you got your first hongy by the coddles or uncles? That's definitely a mouldy. That's asking that. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had to hongy somebody? I think I hongied maybe your papa and nan at the wedding. Did they hongy? Oh, was hongi it your dad? For, I for think maybe the, your dad has hongied me. Hongy for all the whiteies that are watching. Yeah. Should we hong? Yeah. Have we ever hongied? This is weird. So it's just something that our culture does. Are you supposed to breathe in? Yeah, you breathe in. It's just something that they did to greet each other back in the day. Breathe in each other's spirit. Yeah. And decide whether or not they wanted to kill each other. Why do I? Have you ever been hongied? Yeah, I think I've hungered your dad. And wh- oh, like, pre- I wasn't embarrassed Claire, by it. Whoever asked that question, Claire is pretty cultured. She yeah, is, she I've been not, raised around. She's not plain Jane. No. Um. Yeah, black, she has Aboriginal family. Yeah, all my life. And so that she's not just a square white girl. No. Yeah, she knows uh, how. To, she can. Bloodline, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. She can cook a chop suey to. I can't cook chop suey. Can't you? I've never cooked chop suey. What's a what's a thing that you can cook? Boiler. That you shouldn't be able to cook. Yeah, you should cook some mean boil up. Bacon and egg pie? Yeah, cook some mean bacon and egg pie. Uh seafood chowder. Seafood chowder, cook some mean seafood chowder. Yeah. Not like a little, you know, seafood chowder, one with like a pound of butter and yeah, literally a, a pound of can butter. of cream in it. His nan taught me how to do it, so it's amazing. Yeah. It's pretty yummy. Yeah. Cook some mean hangy too. Oven hungy. Yeah. <laughs> Oven hungy. Oh, you done that Samoan chicken that time. Yeah, that's that was the best I've actually ever had too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I actually really enjoy cooking, yeah. It's something that I like doing. Yeah. That's like that's that's probably the reason we're married, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if you married someone that just made like my sister used to just cook like one meal a week for herself and put it in the <laughs> fridge. Just, this is a common theme on our podcast. I love her. We should just get her on. Yeah. Um, like we'll, 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 steamed chicken and broccoli. Uh, How would you feel about that? Red flag. Red flag, red yeah. flag, red flag. What, did, what was the first thing you ever cooked for me? I don't know. Sato uh. chicken, I think. Was with it? prawns. Fuck, yeah, you used to cook that. Oh, we need it. We can't have any of that now. We can't. We got a allergic, I mean, we can. We got a little boy down uh, down in the bedroom that's allergic to seafood and peanuts, peanuts and soy and fish, dairy, fish and prawns. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, have a good week. Yeah, have a good week. Like I said at the start, like, comment, and share. We need to get this yes. channel off the gr- grizzound. Grizzound. <laughs> 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 and um. Please don't share if you're over 60. Why? Oh, none of those trucking gronks are going to come over here, but I'm telling you now. <laughs> not. Because um, I'm not going to share it on my Cross Family page. That's what I'm... Oh, okay. This yeah. is completely separate. This We're building this one. from the ground up. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Love you, babe. Love you. I'm Jacques Cross. That's Claire Cross. I'm and Claire that Cross. was episode six, I think. Done. Episode six. Done. Wow. Yeah. We're six. Of a hundred. Of a hundred. Boom. Boom. Love you.